Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your natural nail guru, Dati, and today I am super excited because we're gonna be going over a really, really awesome product review. So, gel polish, an amazing revolution, right? It is beautiful, it looks amazing, art is so easy to do, it's instantly dry, it is awesome. But, we have some people out there that might have allergic reactions to gel polish or develop allergic reactions to it over time, which, Sucks if you developed it over time because you've been using it for so long, but it does happen. Even with regular foods that we eat every single day, we can definitely develop allergic reactions to it. And sometimes they will last forever, sometimes it's just temporary, but we're gonna talk about those details in another video. Today, I want to bring to you a review product for this issue. Now, reviewing product for, I guess, hypoallergenic gel is really difficult because you need someone that has an allergy or developed one to be able to start testing it out. And lucky me, I have one client that after years of using gel polish suddenly started getting a reaction to it. Now, her reaction was really mild. It really just was redness, a little bit of swelling and itchiness, and maybe even a little bit of peeling skin from dryness around her nail plate, all around the eponychium. Sometimes these allergies can be very excessive and lead to really intense blisters and severe peeling and cracking of the skin. Luckily with Melissa, she was really minimal. Um, we really don't know what causes the reaction over time, but it can happen. So I found opportunity in this and because my clients are so amazing and are so willing to help me review product and get it out there for everyone, she was super down to take the challenge and see whether or not we can find gel that really helps with this issue. So in looking online, we found this brand. It is overseas. It's from the UK, I believe, and it's called Icon IQ Gel Polish, okay? Um, now, online, it really emphasized the hypoallergenic aspect of this gel. It's supposed to be really amazing and awesome. So I went ahead and I bought it. Um, it is overseas, so shipping cost me just as much as the actual product, and it took me like a month to get it. But we finally got it, and we've been trying it out tirelessly for months. This has been probably about five or six months that we started testing out this product, making sure that it truly did help, if it did help, and whether or not we can mix products together and get the same results. So before I get into too much blabbering, because I can go on forever, let's cover what we're gonna go over today. So now, as always with my reviews, I am extraordinarily thorough, and generally we'll have two to three clients that I'm testing product on, but considering that I don't have a lot of clients really that have any kind of allergic reaction, we got one client testing it out, but she's been testing it out for months, so I think we got, we got the thoroughness down. Now, in the reviews, we're gonna start off with first impressions, so overall, you know, what does it smell like? How, how's the consistency of the gel? How does it polish? Was it difficult or easy to polish with? Runny, not runny? How does it look when it's done? You know, cured, shiny, matte, all that. And then we really, really pay attention to what comes after, and that's the wear of the product. So first, does it wear nicely? Does it stay nice and glossy? Do you have chipping issues or lifting issues? And the most important part of this wear test is, did my client get an allergic reaction? So now, before we get into all the juiciness, if you wanna be up to date with the most thorough product reviews for nails, if you wanna have all of the best tips that are going to help improve the health of your natural nails, get them growing stronger than ever, as well as get the longest lasting manicures you've ever had, you know what to do. Make sure that you guys are hitting the subscribe button, get those notifications on, and share, share, share. Whether you are a nail professional or just a DIY nail enthusiast, I promise that there's information in this channel that's going to help you out. So thank you to those that already have. Thank you to those that are clicking right now. Let's not waste any more time and find out the results of this review. Let's do first impressions. All right, so here we have Melissa, my lovely client. She has recently been experiencing a little bit of an allergic reaction to the gel. She's been doing gel for a while, so this is definitely something that has come up um, recently. Uh, and in looking, we found the Prima Iconic Nails Gel Polish. So I got a little kit, base coat, top coat, regular. We're gonna go ahead and go over first impressions, consistency, um, coverage, and then in the end, see how it wears, and most importantly, whether or not we still had a reaction. So I'm gonna start with the base coat, which is this one right here, lovely bottle. Looks very Fendi. Mm, has a very pleasant, clean product smell. Base coat is definitely a nice thick consistency. I 
the brush would be a little bit of a hard time spreading it because it is a thicker base, but the brush is actually really nice. It holds a good amount. And I can polish without too much streaking. The brush on this is really nice. I can get super, super close to the edge without really worrying about getting on the sidewalk. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and go for the color coat. Oh, Eureka, I'm not really sure if I'm saying that right, probably not. I got this, like I said in the intro, in a little kit, so it came with this color automatically. Let's, ooh, that's pretty. One coat. Same applicator brush as the base coat. Wow, that's gorgeous. That's just one coat. And I love how close I can get to the edge with it still being really nice and smooth. No bumps, no skipping. That's just one coat, beautiful ease of application. I love how close I can get to her edges and she has a really nice deep C curve. So sometimes, sometimes getting close gets a little bit in the areas that you don't want and requires a little cleanup, but that is perfect. Now this color has amazing coverage just on the first coat. I'm sure you can get away with it, but we're going in with the second coat anyways. Plus we love that extra durability that layer gives. Make sure to clean up any edges that need a little cleaning up. I got a little fuzzy there, switch it right around. I think I got a fuzzy here. Beautiful application, really nice and smooth, great coverage. Now we're going to go in with their top coat that comes in a very different bottle than the other two. And it has a flat brush applicator rather than the curved one from the other brushes. That one doesn't have a smell as pleasant as the base coat, but it's still not a very strong gel polish scent. Definitely thick consistency. just a case. It's definitely a thicker consistency, I would say, even than a normal no wipe gel coat, because those tend to be a little thicker in consistency than a traditional gel coat that you have to wipe off. But when you have thicker consistency, you need to make extra certain that you're going around those edges because it doesn't have that same melting, bleeding effect as a polish that might not be as thick in consistency. Now, is this a no-wipe top coat? Yes, it is. It is a no-wipe top coat. Cured very, very nicely, very glossy. Put your hand like that. Yeah, you could definitely see the thickness. It has a thick consistency, each coat, um, but has really smooth application. So 
it's definitely something that you just definitely want to be cautious when you're polishing that you're really applying thin coats so that you don't get any bumpiness or bulkiness and you get really nice clean edges turn them sideways you can get really nice clean edges getting close to the nail without it getting really messy you want to make sure your cuticle care is on point but uh, looking really good so here we have it beautiful manicure beautiful color First impression overall really nice. Now we just need to put it to the test and see whether or not she starts having a reaction to this and hopefully we do not. And then we just wanna see overall wear, how it looks after two to three weeks. So I'm really excited to see the results. Cannot wait to see what comes back. Okay, so overall first impression, pretty good. There's no crazy smell. The consistency of the polish is definitely thicker. Um, so I guess there's, for me, opportunity there. I think that the brush isn't necessarily the best type of brush to really make sure that we're getting a nice, thin, even coat. It could be a little bit of a struggle, but not a big deal, not a deal breaker, just something that you need to work with. Um, and over time, you get more used to, you know, dealing with different consistencies in gel. So no big deal, but if we want to be nitty picky, definitely some opportunity in either the consistency of the gel polish or the type of brush that's being used just to really make sure that we're getting a nice thin even coat uh, with no thickness or like chunkiness that's bubbling up the color is absolutely gorgeous it definitely brushed on really nicely the gloss looks really really nice so overall first impression is pretty good absolutely no issues whatsoever now let's get to whether or not my client had a reaction so generally when she started getting this reaction I wanna say like three manicures before we start this, by within a couple of hours after doing her nail, she was already getting some irritation, some itchy, it'll get a little bit red and on some fingers a little bit swollen um, and it was happening pretty immediate. So maybe take an allergy medication or just wait till the next day and for the most part it would go away. Now with this product, my client had absolutely zero reaction whatsoever. She had no swelling, no itching, nothing not even on a finger so that was a really 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 great um, relief there that this product seemed to work really really nicely but now what's really really great is on top of her having absolutely no reaction to the product um, her overall wear was really nice we had still an intact manicure we had no lifting or chipping um, there was a little bit of product that was rubbed off on the working nails. Uh, she is a nurse, so getting her hands in the mix of everything, it's something that happens, but I was happy to see that there was no lifting or separating of the product from the nail where the wearing off was happening. Um, the overall gloss of the polish could be better. It definitely had a lot of scratches on it, and she's been doing her nails with me for a long time. That's definitely not something that is common, even with her work. So. Um, overall, could it be glossier and a little bit more resistant to scratching? Absolutely, but still a really great quality product. And the most important thing is that she had absolutely no reaction. But we can't stop there. It can't just be one manicure. This could have totally been a fluke. Um, we needed to test it a little bit more. So next manicure, we went ahead and again, base coat, top coat, iconic nails. But we started testing out mixing the brand with a different gel color brand because my clients like hands and feet matching. I personally do not, but I'm weird. Uh, but clients like hands and feet matching. So this had a gel color with no real paired up matching toe color. Um, so we wanted to test out and see whether or not we can still get reaction free manicure with the product if we put in a color that was a different brand so that she can get her toes matching. So we went ahead and did this with a OPI color. Super, super cute color. I absolutely love it. And to our lovely surprise, again, she had absolutely no reaction. The polish wear was the exact same. Um, the overall gloss and scratching of the top coat was pretty consistent, um, but you know, not a big deal. Right now we're just happy that we have a uh, reaction-free manicure to this polish, which is really, really amazing. So we went ahead and tried this a couple more times, did the manicure trying out a different brand of color. We still had absolutely no reaction. We took it a step further and actually tried the manicure only using the base coat and then using the gelish top coat so that we can have a better gloss and less scratching. Now, when we did this, she got a teeny, like teeny, teeny, teeny like, little reaction, like on one finger, a little bit of itching. I think it was the thumb. Um, so you definitely need the base coat and the top coat. Even doing the top coat and making sure that it's not touching the skin can still cause a reaction. She is totally okay with dealing with it because it's so minimal um, and she really likes the gloss and how durable the gelish top coat is. 
but um, I would say that to make sure that we're not having any allergic reaction, it is safe to say you definitely need to use the base coat and the top coat. But over the manicures that we've done over these last few months that we've been doing it this way, I can definitely say in our, in our experience that it is super safe to use the base coat and the top coat using a completely different brand of gel color. Um, and we're gonna keep doing that. So if anything changes, you already know we're gonna get back on here and do a follow-up review to this. But I'm really, really happy that we had such a great result with this. Now, I found this through Google, just looking up hypoallergenic gel. I'll make sure to link down below the information. Now, right now, they have shippings delayed until like February for you know quality control and just shipping issues around the world overall. Um, the average pricing of the product is a little bit pricey but not so much more than like your gelish or your opi um, i would say the bottles are averaging around 19 euros so that's probably about 22 bucks for the bottle um the bottles are eight milliliters no these are the smaller bottles but this is kind of what they look like really really cute um not too bad in polishing with it it's 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 a good shape no big deal with that um, but you do get options of colors. They have base coat, top coat, they have bonders, they have matte top coats. They actually have more product than just gel polish. Um, I do only natural nails, so I don't think I'll be trying out any of like their extension or like acrid gel type stuff. But if that changes, I'll make sure to let you guys know and try it out and review it. But through the link, you'll see the products that they have. Shipping was probably almost 40 bucks, so I paid about the same shipping that I did for the product and I actually got this really cute kit that came with a base coat a top coat and a color um, I went through the website because I did buy this a few months ago I didn't see these kits available anymore so I don't know if their availability for different things change but definitely worth checking out definitely worth the shipping if you are a professional who wants to offer gel services to someone who has like allergic reactions or anything this is definitely something to look into it is a great great product um, i'm going to keep testing it out testing other things and i'm still looking for other products that claim to be hypoallergenic so we can keep testing it out and see if there's anything more i guess accessible if you're here in the states but this is definitely something that could be a really great solution to your clients if you're having the issue. Now, getting the product for hypoallergenic manicure can be a little bit more expensive. So it really is fair to say that offering products for people that have allergic reactions will come at a higher price. Um, I don't think that's unreasonable. I think that that has a really a good value. And, you know, it's understandable that it costs a little bit more to get these healthier products in the shop. So, you know, it's going to be reasonable to think that you're going to charge a little bit more for the manicure. So how much you're going to charge for it? I don't know. I'm going to leave that up to you. But I am letting you know that it's super, super reasonable to charge a little bit more for hypoallergenic manicure for those clients that really need it. There's a lot of value in it and there's not a lot of product out there that can offer that solution. So do what you got to do. But this is great value and I think your clients would really appreciate it. So that is all that we have today. I'll make sure that the links are down below. If anyone has any questions regarding what we talked about today, um, regarding the product or anything that you'd like me to try or look into if you've heard about anything that is hypoallergenic, right, for gel, please let me know because we got a girl that is willing to test it all out. I'm super excited. Thank you, Melissa. You're amazing. Always being such a, a lovely participant in our testing. Um, but your fingers haven't fallen off, so we're doing good. But thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Make sure you're subscribed. Do not miss. We have so much more to come. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Hey.